Here's an example of obsessive compulsive disorder. This is a miniature Christmas tree by somebody obsessed with Christmas and their compulsivity has made them plant thousands of little tiny miniature Christmas trees all in a row. OCD if there ever was. Yeah, no, it's a Christmas tree farm. My son-in-law's family is in the Christmas tree business here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm just using it as an example of, you know, some of the idiotic notions of crazy psychology. People make a lot of dumb stuff up uh, these days and use descriptions for you know, psychopathologies to explain normal behaviors. And that was just a little tongue in cheek example of it. And an introduction into what I'm going to be getting back to shortly. Uh, as I uh, plan my final days here in the United States and head back to Bangkok, I'm going to start doing my crazy psychology videos again. 2020 was a strange year for all of us. Me included. In March 2020, I had to shut my Bangkok yoga studio down and kind of sequestered in place in, uh, in Thailand for nearly a year. Changed my life in many ways and many good ways, I might have to add. On July 7th this year, 2021, I came to uh, New York to visit family and friends and uh, you know, I've been taking stock of how my life has changed so much in the past year and a half. And I'm very grateful for some of the good things that have come out of this uh, rather grim experience of uh, 2020 and 2021 so far. I'm in um, Lee Heighton, Pennsylvania on Foothill Farms. That's a property that belongs to my daughter's in-laws. And I'm coming to the end of a three month stay here in the States. I got really clear over the last few weeks that my home is in Bangkok. I miss it. I have a family back there and I'm looking forward to going back. I had to jump through a lot of hoops to make it happen. They're not letting people in unless you uh, adhere to some requirements, which I did. And a week from now, I'll be on an airplane flying back to Bangkok. So, this is a corn maze. I think it's an appropriate metaphor for, for life sometime. On and on we go through this old world of shuffling. That's my daughter, Christina. Hello, Chris. That was a line from uh, Mark Knopfler, a tune that uh, he wrote about luck. Sometimes you get lucky, and that's true of me. I've had a lot of lucky experiences in my life, and certainly over the last two years as well because here I am healthy and strong and prosperous with uh, families and two continents 12 hours I'm sorry 12 time zones between the two of them and you know I'm looking forward to what I hope to be a golden age coming up I've just traveled around this country I've been in uh, New York City here in Lee Heighton Pennsylvania Dayton, Ohio, San Antonio, Texas, Austin, Texas, El Paso, and Juarez, Mexico. Juarez wasn't so nice. They're still struggling. I think they struggle even when there's no pandemics. It was kind of a scary town. I got out quickly. Now here I am back in Lehigh, Pennsylvania, preparing for my trip back to Bangkok, reflecting on the last couple of years of my life and feeling grateful that I've had as much good fortune as I have had. Again, walking through the mazes of, <laughs> of life. You know, we don't know what's coming around the next bend all the time. And I've had a lot of good fortune, so I'm grateful. On and on we go through this old world of shuffling. And if you have a truffle dog, you can go truffling. And thanks to Mark Knopfler, a wonderful artist who I appreciate. 
Foothill Farms in Lehigh, Pennsylvania. The uh, owner, Pete, told me he has something like 30,000 Christmas trees in the ground due for harvest in about four more years. In the meantime, they plant corn, not to harvest the corn, but to have corn mazes here in the fall. And that's what they're setting up today. It's kind of a festive day, nice, beautiful Saturday morning here. It was a little cool earlier today in late September. But the sun's coming out, warming things up. It's a really beautiful day and they're setting up the farm for this event. They have vendors, it's a beer maze. You get to walk in the maze and drink beer. I don't know if they've lost anybody in the maze with that strategy yet, but here are the merchants uh, setting up. It's a nice event, actually. I, I, I was to a wine maze, which was at nighttime a few weeks ago, which was very nice, and now they're doing a daytime beer maze. And uh, this is a beer. What kind of beer you sell? Half Hour Brewery. We have Pilsner, Oktoberfest, nope, nope, IPA. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Pumpkin, oatmeal, nope. and coffee. No. 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 That's, that's all. Wrong. No. They didn't that's change wrong. the board. We need, we need to take that. Okay, change that's that board. wrong. Yeah. We need to change the board. That's wrong. So I don't know what we have. Well, it will be revealed, no doubt. It will be. It's a surprise. Man. My honey. <laughs> Half Barrel Brewing Company. And you're what, Jim Thorpe? Where are you? Uh, Lee Heighton. Lee Heighton. And uh, if you're traveling around the Jim Thorpe Lee Heighton area, look them up. They make great beer. Thank you. The fun thing that's opened up for me. Uh, last year when i had to shut my yoga studio down i resurrected my interest in youtube and it's been growing slowly but nicely i'm getting there people are subscribing and i'm more importantly than that i'm having fun making videos and it also opened up uh, an interest for me in still photography uh prior to heading back to bangkok next week i'm buying myself a nice nikon and i'm going to be incorporating that into my future activities back in Bangkok. I'm going to be making, you know, travel lifestyle kinds of videos that I've been making. I'm going to continue to do that when I'm out and have interesting things to point my camera at. But I'm also going to do my crazy psychology videos. I've done a few of them in the past. They require kind of a studio space. So while I'm on the road, I haven't made any, but I intend to start making them again especially when I get back to Bangkok. I have to spend 14 days in a quarantine hotel. That'll give me plenty of time to sit down and make my crazy psychology videos. Also, I have this, you know, kind of gaggle of models back in Bangkok that I get to play with too. I have uh, my girlfriend, Boa Cow, uh, her sister, Noam Pear. We call the sexy sister. I guess I call it that. The rest of them make sure she's never left alone with me. <laughs> uh, I have Boo Cow's kids, all of whom love getting in front of a camera. And so that'll give me uh, models to point my still photography camera at. And uh, I'm planning on incorporating them inside of my videos as well. So I do have uh, you know, plenty of plans to keep me busy and having fun. And I hope you enjoy the content as I keep sending it out to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. I might do one more video here in the States. I don't know. We'll see what comes up. If not, I'll see you in my sequestered state back in a quarantine hotel. See you soon. Thanks for watching.